All right, so we're back to uh, finish up this introductory video. And again, um, please visit www.thctrust.org, create an account, become a registered user. It's free. You will get um, you you'll get to see a lot of the lectures in written format and in video format, like the one that I'm presenting today. And there's a couple of templates out there for registered users. But uh, more importantly, um, there's also uh, private membership and premium membership which entitles you to other things but now to finish this up let's talk about the birth certificate as a title to goods and commerce because we already discussed the fact that it is an agency and we didn't go into detail with that we also mentioned that it is a blind trust or a business trust and that all these different uh, entities entity names that we give it are for some form of administrative purposes. Under no circumstances do any of these entities relate to the essence of your being, the living person. So what we have to think about is who are you in relation to the agency? What type of agent are you? What is the role that you're playing? Um, and then we also talked about the certificate of live birth, uh, the the uh, the the fact that it's printed on securities paper. Talked a little bit about the fact that, I, I can't say how, because we didn't talk about how yet, but we talked about the commercial matrix monetizing your energy, and that being the uh, the asset that backs the money. You know, all of those advanced topics are gonna be found on the site. But right now, let's talk about the birth certificate as a title to goods and commerce. The first thing that occurred after your birth is that your parents sold you into slavery. So let's think about slavery as African Americans understand it, although quite possibly it didn't happen the way we were told it did. Slavery involves the crossing of waters, entering into a new jurisdiction, jurisdiction, excuse me, being assigned, owned, and held in a status of less than a man or being held in a status without rights. The Bible, as well as the Moorish and Masonic science, teaches that we ourselves, which includes our ancestors, are responsible for our enslavement because we were given instructions by God and his prophets not to deviate from our own customs, nor intermingle with the customs of the foreigner. And it is a result of our disobedience which caused the law to execute upon us, resulting in enslavement. Uh... And that's taught in different areas of the Bible as relates to the Israelites. Um, it's also taught in more science. And you can read about that uh, from Noble Drew Ali himself in the Divine Warning, which is also linked in to this document. So you can click and read it. So remember, visit thctrust.org for that. Um, now let's talk about foreign customs. Let's talk about the foreign customs that we participated in, resulting in our loss of sovereignty and enslavement. So if you haven't figured it out, the word customs has a deeper meaning than the common usage of the word, wherein we construe it to mean traditions. So exactly what is customs? Customs are the laws that deal with import and export of goods. All goods entering a foreign jurisdiction must be documented with some form of papers showing the origin, which also represents the title of ownership of the goods indicated therein. We're talking about the birth, right? Um, the birth certificate in this case is the foreign customary document of title that must be presented in order to bring the goods, which is the child, into dry dock or into a new jurisdiction. A dry dock is a narrow basin that can be flooded to allow a load to be floated in. This floating, uh, excuse me, this flooding is what occurs when your mother's water breaks so that the child may be birthed. You see what I'm saying? So you see the similarities of commercial of, of commercial law as it deals with uh, vessels, um, commerce, and with the birth, how the water breaks so the goods can be floated into the dock. It's the same thing about when they say, well, your mother's water breaks and then 
the birth comes down the canal and is received by a docker book in childbirth we call it a doctor you know which is he's taking the same he has the same uh custodian type of duties a dry dock okay let's see this um when the child moors its way through the canal at birth the doctor or docker is waiting to receive the goods and bring them into dry dock at this point i wish to draw your attention to the terminology used when referring to a birth uh, excuse me to the terminology used when referring to a birth because this is the same terminology used in maritime law the law of the sea as a law as opposed to the law of the land and those are two different most important jurisdictions that you must become familiar with there's always been and there always be will be the two the duality like the yin and the yang the law of the sea versus the law of the land the law of the foreign versus the law of the domestic or the law of the private versus the law of the public there's always two dual forces at play shaping and forming what we know as the law in every jurisdiction um, traditional slavery is illegal so any present-day institution that supports slavery must operate under the color of law maritime law sets forth a framework which can be adapted to transport people as goods from their sovereignty on land with birthrights and constitutional rights um, into a foreign jurisdiction of commerce to be held as chattel property or slaves the goal of most sovereignty movements and much of the studies at thctrust.org is to bring man out of the sea and back to the land the birth certificate in commerce represents the title of to the goods if you research the word certificate you will learn in one sense that the term always represents the legal ownership of a thing and in another sense it evidences that a deed or an act was done <clears throat> So the birth certificate, again, it represents the title or the ownership of the thing. And it also represents, you know, the certificate represents that a deed or an act that something was done. By studying the title document for the John Alex Doe, you will realize exactly what deed was done. Your parents sold you at birth into the commercial jurisdiction, then unknowingly taught you to identify yourself as the goods or the property owned. To which the certificate of title relates your mother had every right to do so because when you entered into the world she as a parent or par rent um, which is a equal shareholder so see she was an equal shareholder in the goods that were being birthed into the new jurisdiction um, so she had full commercial rights to convey grant assign or negotiate the property indicated by that certificate of title the property is the goods and i'm not saying that that is you but when you identify or make yourself the same as as you were taught to do so then you do become the same as and you do answer it and you do lose your rights um there's more about that embedded in this document but again you got to go visit thctrust.org Read this document and click the highlighted links. Let's examine the legal definition of birth and then consider that definition with what we have been discussing regarding you being purchased or taken from the land as a free man into a foreign jurisdiction of slavery. You've been commercialized, so to speak. Uh, the definition of birth, according to Black's Law, fourth, uh, Black's Law Dictionary, the fourth edition, says in one definition that it is the act of being wholly brought into a separate existence based on some voluntary action in the original jurisdiction this was obviously the voluntary act of your par renter who is suffering from the curse of uh, ancient spell you know we perish for our lack of knowledge furthermore as it relates to the voluntary action the certificate identifies the par renter as an informant an informant is a person who provides privileged information about a person or organization to an agency voluntarily. So this agency was created through the whole cert certification of birth. Uh, the agency is evidenced by the birth certificate and the par renter 
having the full authorities to trade you and negotiate you into uh, slavery, also known as an informant, provided certain vital information about uh, the goods to the agency. So they were acting as an agent for this agency that was created. But now, again, we perish for our lack of knowledge because this same thing that can harm us can also uh, benefit us and through it our remedy can come if we learn our relationship to this agency the purpose of the agency and how to properly administer the agency for the Moors who are of the original inhabitants and early, early people, earlier peoples of North America this participation in the entire vital statistics social security system is an example of what Nobu Drew Ali explains occurred to uh, occurred and you can read the divine warning by the prophet um, essentially i've just touched the surface and tried to make visible some of the metaphysical word play spells and other things going on to make you voluntarily and willingly give up your rights granted by the creator to enter into the world of the dead the commercial jurisdiction now uh thank you and I don't form any opinions that anything is good or bad because you have to learn this stuff in layers. You know, first you have to learn how you've been misled, you know, and then you have to like, for example, guns don't kill people. People with guns kill people. So before you throw out the gun or like I say, before you throw out the baby at the bathwater, let's continue to investigate and uncover and learn what's going on so thank you again if you do nothing else please visit www.thctrust.org and log in just one time do that for me have a look around and um thanks again also you can contact me through visiting the website and you can and, and now very important signing up for my email list where i send out written lectures or videos kind of like what we just went through that's a separate function of signing into the website so when you sign into the website you will see a link on the right side that says join the email list you can go over there put your information in there and join the email list anyways thank you for watching this is Tex Masson peace <laughs>